the book module is going to work from an existing collection or just the images that you're currently working on. And if when you click it, this little um, information comes in, just go to View and uh, uncheck Show Info Overlay. Um, the, quite often what will happen is that it's set on autofill. So when you click over, it may look like there's an existing book. Uh, you can just click where it says Clear Book and it will allow you to start over. The settings that we're going to use are over here on the right hand palettes. Under Book, we're actually going to be creating a PDF, but this is a place that you could use uh, to create a JPEG. Um, we are going to be working in a standard portrait that gives you a nice binding uh, ability. And we are going to be having our JPEG quality at 100%. We're going to be having no cover. Uh, and I'll explain later what all those things mean. Uh, under Color Profile, we're going to be working in Profoto. File resolution, 300, media type, glossy, all those things work great. Next we come to page and you can add pages very simply. When you have a page, you simply click on it and you'll see this yellow border comes up. Clicking on that little pop-up gives you the ability to say you want how many images you want to work with, and then you see below it the different layouts. You can simply scroll down and then click and it's going to give you that layout. And to place an image in there, you simply go down to um, our film strip at the bottom and press and drag and that allows you then to place the image. Now right now I'm looking at it in thumbnail view. You can look at it in the uh, spreads or you can look at it individually and you can press and drag to change where an image is if you want to flip two of them and you can always go back in and change let's say you're wrong you wanted to add four photos that lets you come into a new layout and continue now once you've got the page you then, and I'm going to uncheck Show Guides, you then have the ability to add some text to it. Now you can add it either to the photo, in which case it's going to, and you have, uh, you check that, you then have your slider, which lets you, you know, bring it closer or further away. You can have it be on top of the image, above the image, or below it. Uh, and then you simply just click in that little space right there and go ahead and type in what you want. You also then have the ability once you select that type to change the uh, typeface you're using, the size of it, all of those things. Um, we also have the ability now when I click on the page um, to then instead of adding um, text to the image I can add text to the selected page and that works just like the other one where you can have it be at the bottom or the top the offset will allow you to move it uh, you have the ability to set where the types going to be you can also then choose to have a, either a background image or a background color if you have apply background globally that means that the color you choose is going to apply to all of the pages once you select background color just click on it you get this box if you want to actually do colors but I would ask that you don't do colors for our project we're gonna go kind of neutral on that uh, and that allows you to change that I'm gonna get rid of that uh, and we will at the end of this process actually be exporting to a PDF and bringing it into MagCloud.